السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو الف ٹی وی پاکستان پرائم منسٹر عمران خان ہیڈ فار ہز میڈن افغان وزٹ پاکستانی پرائم منسٹر عمران خان از سٹ ٹو وزٹ دا افغان کیپٹل کابل فار ڈیلیگیشن لیول ٹاکس ود پریزڈنٹ اشرف گنی اینڈ بائیلیٹرل ٹائز دا اسٹرکچرنگ افغان پیس پروسیز اینڈ ادر ایشوز خان ول ارائیو ان کابل فار ہز فرسٹ وزٹ ٹو پاکستان نارتھ ویسٹرن نائبر where it has been facilitating peace talks between the government and the Afghan Taliban on Thursday. The focus would be on further deepening the fraternal bilateral relations between Pakistan and Afghanistan, the Afghanistan peace process and regional economic development and connectivity. Khan will be also accompanied by Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi and his advisor on commerce and investment, Razak Daud. In a sad news for Japan, Japan is on maximum alert on COVID-19 cases and the Tokyo is at highest level. Japan is on maximum alert after confirming a record number of daily COVID-19 cases, Prime Minister Yoshidi Suga said on Thursday, but said the government was not yet planning to impose more restrictions to curb the outbreak. Some 2,201 new cases were recorded across the country on Wednesday with nearly 500 in the capital Tokyo. The United States, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada and New Zealand have accused China of carrying out a concerted campaign to silence all critical voices after it imposed new rules disqualifying elected members from Hong Kong Legislative Council. In a joint statement on Wednesday, the foreign ministers of the so-called Five Eyes Intelligence Sharing Group also said the decision was a clear breach of a Sino-British Act that guaranteed Hong Kong a high degree of autonomy, rights and freedoms for at least 50 years after the United Kingdom returned the city to Chinese rule in 1997. And now let's move to Australia. Australian troops carried out unlawful killings in Afghanistan. Australia said on Thursday that its special forces had carried out 39 unlawful killings in Afghanistan as it released a long-awaited report into alleged crimes committed by some members of its military in the South Asian nation. Australia launched the inquiry in 2016 amid allegations by local media about the killings of unarmed men and children that the government initially tried to suppress. Detailing the findings, General Angus John Campbell said the investigation found it evidence that 25 members of the Australian Special Forces had killed prisoners, farmers and other civilians. And let's have a look at the United States. Trump has made no plans to host G7 summit. Outgoing United States President Donald Trump has made no plans to host a summit of the group of seven advanced economies after cancelling a June gathering because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the diplomatic sources told the Reuters news agency. The Republican president, who has refused to accept the victory of Democrat Joe Biden in the November 3rd election, has not made a final decision, but time is running out to plan a major summit before the hands over power on January 20. Three diplomatic sources said there had been no outreach by the Trump administrations and dates are agenda for a possible G7 summit while an online meeting would still be possible. There has been no work on any kind of joint statement, a process that typically takes months, said one of the sources. U.S. Senator seeks to halt Trump's 23 billion United Arab Emirates arms sale. The United States Senators on Wednesday said they would introduce legislation seeking to halt the Trump administration's effort to sell more than 23 billion of drones and other weapon systems to the United Arab Emirates, a showdown with the president two months before he is due to leave office. Democratic Senators Bob Mehendis and Chris Murphy and Republican Senator Rod Paul announced they would introduce four separate resolutions of disapproval of President Donald Trump's plan to sell billions of dollars worth of reefer drones and other munitions, F-35 fighter aircraft and air-to-air missiles to the United Arab Emirates. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Al-Khalif TV.